Hey guys, so here is the bike itself in the box. And this one handle got ripped out because I carelessly tried picking up from there. But this is how it comes in the mail. So you can see there's really not much. I mean, you're going to get this no matter what in shipping. But as far as it goes, it's tape well, and there's many of these straps. And there's even staples on the side. But usually what I've seen for things like this, especially bikes, is, and if they're heavy, because this is decently heavy, the package. Me and the FedEx guy to bring it over to here. But usually you can just pull the top box off the bottom. And I think that's what this is too. But we're just going to cut into it. There's no visible damage on the outside. Like I said, there's a couple of things that are bound to happen no matter what. But we'll see how it is on the inside here. A lot of reinforcements on it though. And it's nice on this outside box. You can see there's handles. There's two handles there and on this side. So there's a cat being nosy. But I want to try to make the unboxing part nice and quick for you guys. I'll probably do some cutting here on the video so it's not so long, but guessing. Hmm. Not sure just yet. I think I might cut the top just to check. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure out how to get it open. It's probably really simple, but I just want to make sure I know how, so. Cat won't leave us alone, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut and just get to where you see what's inside. Also, I'm not in the most representable shirt. I have it tucked because there's a huge hole on the side, so if you notice that, just you didn't see it. But uh, here's the bike out of the package. I'd like to say a lot was like done between the last clip, but all we did was open the bottom, which wasn't hard to open at all, folded the sides, tipped it like this pulled the box up and this is how it was. So the only thing that happened was this was separate and come out of the box and I'm guessing they had this battery tucked somewhere but it slid out so but here it is straight out of the box haven't done anything to it haven't cut anything um, there are some you know there's a little bit of wear here just from rubbing but it's not bad I'd rather rather I'd rather have these uh plastic fenders because I have had them with the metal ones and they rattle a lot make a lot of noise and I found that these are actually a little bit better so yeah it's got nice fat tires though they're gonna need a little air I'm sure they didn't pump them all the way but you can see here there's some decent tires it's almost to my waist here they're so tall but yeah so I think all we're going to do now is all this foam that you guys see, which is actually protecting everything really well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take it all off, get everything cut, and then we'll see if there's everything was kind of protected by the foam, basically. So I'm going to get it all cut, and I'll see you guys after that. Okay, guys, so the only piece of foam left is right here on the screen, which doesn't need to come off just yet. I'll do that last. But basically all we did here, it seems like a lot happened, but not much did, once again. Um, all we did was put the seat on, flipped it upside down on its seat. It says to do the handlebars first, but I don't want to get them all beat up from laying on the concrete. So we put a piece of foam under here on this handlebar mount, flipped it upside down with the seat. And this tire was really easy to put on. Um, we only didn't film because he was holding the bike, my cameraman, and all I did was drop the tire in, and there's a pin that goes through. You tighten it on the end of that, don't tighten it all the way, and you pull a handle down, it locks it in place. So that was pretty simple. But all we got to do now is, this is a really nice touch to this bike, I think myself, because the whole thing is like matte black. This is matte black, matte black too, the frame of this, but... That's the rear mount for back here. You can see that's real wood and branded. 
and that fits right on the back here. So that tightens down, and yes. Okay, so sorry about that. Uh, Mr. Mr. Pumpkin Man's hat come off. But here is the front fender, which is also all bubble wrapped. And to report on if anything was dinged up, there's only one ding, and it's up here for me scratching it on accident. So it's a little spot, but they actually packaged, packaged it pretty well compared to other things I've seen. I mean, every single spot where it could have rubbed, basically anywhere it was covered. So the packaging job was pretty good. One thing I would say is, you know, there is that on the fender there. Just a little rub, but other than that, the packaging was great. So, all we got to do now is tighten this guy on, put the front fender on, and I want to show you guys. So, this is what the battery charger come in, and I've already taken it out. I also took in the battery itself, which is its own thing. You can just detach it from right here on this cage. I took that in, and I have it plugged in. So, even the charger was packaged well in that box, but the charger was slipped into this box and this is the accessories box there is a hat which I need to put on uh, don't know what that is yet something there's a nice little Allen set there's a couple other tools in there too it's like hex a set of pedals that screw on uh, some zip ties and some nuts and bolts, which I assume are for the fender because they're smaller, those ones. And this box is the headlight. So there's not much to do, really, to put it together. We're just going to go ahead and put the rest of this on, and I will see you guys when that's all done. Okay, guys, so now that the unboxing is done, it's time to show you guys the bike and show how it rides. Um, I actually just filmed this exact video two days ago. But my camera messed up and it messed all of the footage up and it made it slow motion and uh, it was off track if I tried to speed it up. So it is a little bit windy today. I mean, it is fall, but uh, you can see there is now dust and, you know, mud on it um, from the other day when I took it out. But yeah, basically here it is out in the nice sunshine that we have. I think tomorrow it's getting cold again, but uh, yeah. Um, I have put over 155 miles on it already just for that kind of break-in test. I know that's kind of an extreme break-in, maybe a little bit more than it needed, but I can assure you it's a really nice bike. Um, it feels like I'm on like a motorcycle. I mean, it's, it's built really well. Um, I'm going to get the negatives out of the way right now. Um, there's two negatives. One's a small negative and one's, you know, moderate negative. Um, but these are the only problems I've had with the bike. Uh, this rack come squished. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the rack is like this. It was bent a little bit. And it's hard to bend that back. And the other thing is, is the, the braking on it is not the best. Um, it does break, don't get me wrong. The thing stops when you want it to. But it, it takes a little bit and, you know, you gotta squeeze them decently. Keep in mind, I'm... A bigger person you know I'm not real skinny so I'm sure someone smaller would just it'd be just fine but uh, basically that's the only problems I've had with it and really only one of them is really a problem so like I said I've put 150 miles on this bike this is the Hemiway Cruiser it's got two really nice Kenda tires I've had no problems with the tires they're perfectly good um, the seat, I usually have the seat like an inch up because um, it's already decently high in the air on the frame, which is nice. Uh, the battery, I haven't taken it off or anything. I just take it in the house, the whole bike, and I plug it in. So we'll get on it here. Like I said, I did just film this, um, but <laughs> I could have redo it now. Um, so here you have two nice grips on the end. I really like them. They're not real grippy, but they, the way they're shaped, your hand fits right on them, and it, 
it doesn't try to come off the end because it's uh, at the end it's it comes out a bit um, it is a Shimano 7 speed right here you guys can see that so there's a push button or to drop gears right here you push this usually I have it in seventh because you're going over 20 most of the time and past 20 miles an hour the pedaling doesn't do much so here's your brakes and right here I'm trying to keep a good camera angle right here's your bell it's decently loud I still think I need an air horn for something like this <laughs> uh, this uh, phone holder I added on that does not come with the bike and right here is your plus and minus for the power setting so one is the lowest and five is the highest so it's one two three four five are the different power increments and that's what the plus and minus does there's the power button right there your light button and your information button to go into settings um, so down here on the bike you can also lock the shocks in the front you can lock them or you know half lock them I have them all the way to free so they just there's no lock on them at all the light is really good I have a video clip of that to show you guys it's got a nice little display right here and it is bright enough I hope you guys can see it today because it's nice and sunny out but um, with my eyes I can see it just fine so even when it's sunny out you can see how fast you're going but yeah it's uh really sharp I've had no problems with the pedals no problems with them at all they're nice and sturdy uh, the kickstand I don't know what the kickstands made of I don't know if it's metal inside of this frame on the outside but I just know it's pretty sturdy and uh, it's definitely oversized which is good for a bike like this and basically everything is matte black I mean there's some gray here to you know highlight on the bike but sorry about that I just got into a coughing frenzy I've been sick with the RS RSV or whatever it's called for like 12 days now but uh, yeah we got some really nice tires I think they're 26 inch yep they're 26 inch by 4 inches so they are definitely fat tires which I've had no problem with at all um, what else what else can I show you um that's about it really for that part so uh we're gonna take it up the road a bit i'm gonna do the same course that i did the other day when i filmed and uh i just want to show you real quick need to tighten the handlebar that's my fault um basically if the battery's on and it's charged you just hold this power button right here and right here you can see there's 157.7 miles on it. We're at a full battery right now, which lasts a long time. And we're going zero miles an hour. So right now it's a setting one. If I click plus, it goes to two, and you get the point. <coughs> so right here is your twist throttle. As long as you're at least in power setting one, you can use the twist throttle. So just show you guys. It takes off it does so this thing has a little bit of torque so before I keep talking about everything and just sitting here we're gonna go on a ride and I'll talk about it and we'll go through the power settings okay guys so here's power setting one two three four five it's carrying us at 16 miles an hour right around 17 up this hill said guys it's a little windy today <clears throat> it's gonna be hard to hear me <coughs> but I'll do a, a true power test on the other road they graded this road again for some reason our township's kind of stupid so they uh, always grade this road Five going up the hill we were at right around 18 miles an hour which is pretty good so see right now we're going over 
quite a bit of gravel. I don't know if you guys can really tell through the camera, but this thing's handling the gravel pretty well. I'm still not gonna go flying because I'll end up crashing, but this is going over some decent sized gravel and it's handling it just well. So yeah, like I said, I have experience riding this. So if you just got this bike and you're riding on a road like this, you'd go a lot slower. But I'm used to the bike and I know that it can handle this gravel quite well. So. They must have just graded this yesterday. I don't know why our township does it, but hey, it's good for the review, isn't it? You guys get to see. You get to see the awesome gravel here. But this cruises right through this gravel. So now you see that it goes over gravel like this quite well. I'm not pedaling much either, if you guys notice. Um, usually when I go over gravel on this bike, what I do is I won't pedal much and I'll just use the electric and kind of use my legs as a, a counterbalance on the sides. So that's kind of what I do. So we're gonna go up the road here where it's not uh, gravel like this, where I can show the speed test a little better and uh, we'll go up there, but yeah. Real quick, I'll show you guys without power pedaling this. We're on an incline right now. We are in second gear. But it pedals decently. Um, it's definitely nice to have the electric on, but it does pedal. It's not that bad. So, yeah. We're going at a nice six miles an hour right now. Shift up to second. But yeah, you can easily hit around 10 miles an hour on a flat, pedaling it. So I've said before about uh, the Amish around here and how they ride e-bikes. One just went by, probably going about 30 on an e-bike. So I don't film them. Obviously they don't like being filmed, so I never film them. But I live in an Amish community, so that's why I always talk about them. So, but yeah, you guys are on a selfie stick. Um, this is what I did the other day. I did the same exact setup of what I just did. I rode up through there, which it's nice. I was able to show you guys running on the gravel because that was flat the other day and they just graded it. So there's tons of rocks there. So that was a good kind of like an off-road demonstration of it because our dirt roads are like off-road. So, but yeah, the other day I, uh, I took this down in the woods and I went down like a gravel trail, which it wasn't even as bad as that road there. So I think that's a better demonstration of it riding off-road, which is, it rides fine. So basically we have a... Okay, so this is a quick voiceover. Um, I just wanted to clarify quick just in case things don't match after this clip uh, this clip I decided to like redo everything down the road a little bit more so that's why I kinda cut out from this and go to the next clip okay guys so the camera may turn a little bit I apologize this hat the brim isn't uh, thick enough for the clamp so it's gonna be a little windy going through here cuz I'm gonna be doing about 27 28 miles an hour so right down here I'm actually gonna stand up See, I'm pressing on the shocks right now. They're perfectly fine. We're gonna go down through these leaves and gravel. It handles quite well. All right, here we go.
handles everything quite well. Um, also, look at these leaves, guys. Check them out. Oh, I'd like to say also, um, so like I said, I'm heavier. I'm like 280 or, or so. And uh, this pulls me through a field that's on an incline. I go downhill and uphill just fine in grass in the, on this bike. So here's a nice little incline here. We're gonna go ahead and put it in setting one and we're gonna pedal with it. This is setting one. This is the lowest power setting for pedal assist. I'm just giving it a moderate pedal. You gotta give it a little power, but not much. And we're doing 11 miles an hour. So now we're gonna click it to power setting two while pedaling. And we are going, here's the potholes. Um, look at this pothole. But we're doing 14 and two. Power setting three, pedal assist. We're doing 19. Assist four, pedal. We are going 22 miles an hour. And in five, it should be 26. So here's that uh, incline that we come down going into the woods. We're gonna go ahead and climb it. Um, we're in power assist five and I'm pedaling. And we're cruising up. We're doing 21 miles an hour up this hill. So, yeah. Um, while we're slowing down here, I'm just gonna kind of let it roll by itself here. Give it a little power. Let it roll. It rolls quite well. So, yeah. Guys, so here's some more gravel that a lot of bikes would slip sideways on. And uh, we're doing 20 miles an hour on it. So, pretty good. what it stays at if you're on flat but not a lot of noise the only noise I hear is the wind on my ears so but it's nice you can turn quite fast you can go side to side that's nice okay guys uh, just a couple quick things I want to throw on before the outro um, I want to say about charging time because I know that's probably a good question, huh? Um, they say on the website, like, I believe they say on there seven hours, but I do know it takes a bit of time to charge this. It is a big battery. I mean, you guys can see it's a chunky battery. Also, like I said, you can take the battery off. The whole battery comes off the bike. You just put the key in, turn it, and the whole battery comes off. So you don't have to take the bike inside. You can just take the battery and charge it. Um, also... Like I said, range, the range is extremely good on this thing. It just now dropped a bar. And the road that I was just on is like four, four miles from the house from that start that I was at. So that was just four miles there. And it just now dropped on top of all the riding we already did. So this thing will literally last you all day. But yeah, just want to say that real quick. All right, guys. So my phone shows a better demonstration of this light just want to show you real quick um we're gonna go up the road a little bit here and uh you can see this thing lights quite a bit way up there is the stop sign it's already lighting the stop sign up so it's pretty good this still doesn't pick up all of the light that there is but it does a decent job 
but it's a really good light. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, it is really nice out today. I have been sick, like I said, I had the RVS or however you say it. Um, I've had it for like 12 days, like bad. So it's nice kind of getting rid of it a little bit and coming out before it gets cold again because we're having another cold front coming soon here. So if you guys want to check out the Hemiway Cruiser, it's called a Cruiser, that's the name of it, but this thing is more of a an all-terrain e-bike. Um, usually when I think of a Cruiser, I think of like a one of them one-speed bikes, like a Cruiser bike, like the, the old lady bikes, those ones. But this this is a lot more than a cruiser. So but that's the name of this one. It's the Hemiway Cruiser. So if you guys want to check it out, there's going to be a link down below. Um, and if you use my link, I believe you guys get $50 off. And I have an uh, affiliate with the bike too. So yeah, I hope that um, you guys enjoyed this video. And anyone that's just looking up this bike and you find this video or review, just let me know down below if I helped at all. And uh, yeah. I appreciate you guys watching. Like I said, link's going to be down below for the bike. And uh, I really do like it. I like it a lot. So, And for the price of it compared to some other e-bikes I know, it's not that bad. Um, trust me, it's not dirt cheap, but it's it's not that bad compared to some prices of some other e-bikes. So, yeah. If you have any other comments, just leave them down below. Or questions on the bike, I'll let you know if there's anything I missed. Because I have some experience with this bike now. Um, the range... I wouldn't be surprised if you could get 30, 35 miles out of this, having it like pe you pedaling with some electric and you cruising around all day, probably 30, 30 miles easily. So yeah, just need to tighten this handlebar up a little bit, but yeah, I appreciate Hemiway for sending this bike for me to review. Um, and trust me guys, I am heavy handed with things and I was not being light with this bike uh, before the review. I mean, I was taking this everywhere. I was, you know, those potholes you just seen, I was hitting those all the time. Anything like that, I was taking it through everything I could. And I have not had a single problem with it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, link is down below. And uh, I got to go home and get my garden ready for winter and put stuff away. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one.